So, as the title suggests, today we're going to try to be beating Minecraft without accessing our inventory. I'm assuming this is something that has been done before, but I don't... Like, I tried looking it up, and I didn't really see anything else doing it. And the one video I found that was like, oh, where I thought that was it? No, the guy just uses a freaking crafting table. So the rule is, right, we're playing on Bedrock because it's all I have. So screw it, because Xbox Game Pass is amazing. But, um... We cannot, act, so normally it's the X and the Y buttons access our inventory. That's off the limits. We can't do that. We we have the nine slots in the hot bar, and that's it. We cannot use crafting tables. We cannot use fern eye. We can't use chest. Anything that accesses our inventory is completely off limits. It's just us and whatever items we have. That's all we have access, er, that's all we have access to. And we have to try to beat the game doing that. Now, going into it, I can tell you it's impossible. No, you cannot beat Minecraft without accessing your inventory. So the challenge has failed. But, can we beat Minecraft by only accessing our inventory once? That's the new challenge. But, saying can you beat Minecraft only accessing your inventory once isn't as good as the title of saying can you beat Minecraft without accessing your inventory at least it's all, as of this moment, it's all speculation. I speculate that you can beat Minecraft without accessing your inventory, but we're not going to know until we do it. Uh, what's today's date? Uh, oh, God. You can, put, you can put emojis in the names. Hey, Dodo Zigzag, how you doing? So yeah, that, that'll be a name. Survival, yep. The challenge comes from the thing and not the actual difficulty of the game. So yeah. I am tempted to turn bonus chests on, but no, I'm not going to worry about that. Yep, all that sounds good. I want show coordinates because yes... And yeah, let's create the world. I I'm doing fine. It's... Okay, admittedly, I did not get any sleep last night. Because I've been busy, but... Other than that, I'm doing fine. Yeah. This is a challenge that... I have a few challenge ideas, like the Pikmin one that we never did because the Switch broke. But yeah, this was one where I was like, you know, I think this is possible. I think this is possible. But how we do it... Oh, God. And I'm not gonna... I'm trying not to use any tools. Oh, God. How many times is that gonna pop up? So, yeah. X and Y are completely off limits. We cannot use X and Y. But we did start at a village. Which is good. I don't know how many times I'm going to screw this up. But I guarantee you I'm going to screw this up. But hey, we got to start somewhere. You know? So yeah, like accessing that furnace? Off limits. Because that opens our inventory. I do want a bed. I guess we can open this map, even though I don't really feel like I need it. Yeah, we are sev severely limited in what we can do. But I, th again, I think this is possible. The big, my bigger worries right now are food. Because, I mean, I guess we can get kill pigs and, like, sheep and stuff for raw food? Oh, and I guess we can plant stuff as well. We can plant carrots and potatoes. I'm looking for a chest of any kind. I don't think this village has a blacksmith, so... 
we're kind of screwed on that front. I Yeah, potatoes and carrots are going to be a good source of food, I guess. I also should probably write down some coordinates for, like, important places. Oh, God. Um... Yeah, we, we only have our nine inventory slots to work with. So once... If we fill them all up... Any now stuff will still go into our hot bar or like our inventory, but we can't access it once it's in our inventory. So we have to be extremely careful. And of course the villagers stole all the rest of the carrots. We can't be I mean I if we could somehow find a campfire. I guess we could bake these potatoes. I'm going to plant back these potatoes, actually. At least some of them. But unless we can find... And I don't think campfires can cook um, potatoes. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, and there's a pillager outpost. We might, we're going to go over there. We're going to go over there and we're going to die. I'm gonna die. I can die as many times as I need. That's not an issue. I'm gonna um I'm gonna make a list of coordinates. Minecraft without inventory. Village one is at one twelve sixty nine eighty two. I just I want a bunch of coordinates. We're gonna need coordinates for a bunch of different shit. Especially because later on, I have some ideas that I don't love, but I think they're going to be our only option. I don't know. I've thought this all up in my head. So I'm like, it's theoretically possible. And we're already off to a good start. Right there with that. We're already off to a good start. Um, adventure. Oh, adventure time. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's that's good. But we've died our first time. Where where the heck? Okay, it's back that way. I expect to die a bunch. But eh, that's no problem. And uh dying is also a good way to like if we need to like clear out our inventory. At any point, yeah, that's going to be a good thing to do. Also, I should say we're not doing this all in one day. Like, I, I know that's the obvious thing. But, uh, I'm not. We're gonna, This is probably going to take like a week or two, just off and on. And we might even change worlds at some point. I don't plan to at the moment. I plan on just using this one, but like. I don't know. With what I have in mind, there are some things that I don't think we can easily do. And we might have to change worlds to do it. Do either of those have an iron golem in them? Oh. 
That's what I wanted. Also, we don't ha we can't get a shield, so Ah, oh, god, my hand just fell asleep. Fuck. Yeah, we we can't get a shield, so that's out we're out of luck on that front. And of course, the pillagers are going to follow us up the tower, which is not fun. Where's my stealth mission when I needed it? We're not going to go mining. We don't we don't need to. I just want to see what's at the top of the pillager tower. I want to see what's in that chest, you know? Uh, you can't eat kelp. I think you can only eat dry kelp, right? That sounds right. There's that pillager again. Oh my god. Okay, we don't need this. And we don't need two crossbows. I want my carrots. I want my potatoes. Arrows. I don't need a map. So, we can't open chests. But we can break them. Which gets us more potatoes. A thing we don't need. And a bottle of enchanting. Which I don't... Oh. We might as well take back the map. Okay. Arrows are ni a nice have. Yeah, shut up, pillager. It's gonna chase me. Yeah, there it is. It's a wolf. Okay, but this is what matters. This right here. This is important. Because these have chests. And the, we need the chests to get obsidian. And a flint and steel. I want... I need you. Um... Okay, it's a fortune pick... And a smite axe. Um, there is one more pick there. Hmm. I don't need the map. Actually, I pro probably don't even need the other pick. Silk. Oh, it's a silk touch pick. Of course, we can't... These are all gold things. So we can't get any of this obsidian. Even though I would love to... Yeah. So, how this is gonna... So, we, we got lucky and found one of these early on. But, it only gave us a single piece of obsidian. We're going to need ten pieces of obsidian to get to the nether. 
So that means either we f- we get lucky and somehow find diamond, which ain't gonna happen, or we find ten more of these. So I guess let's go adventure. Now, in Bedrock, this is how we have to do it. We have to find ten of these structures. In, um. PC, it might be easier. Because I originally wanted to do this on PC. But, you know, I don't have a good computer. So, that's out of the cards. Because on PC, instead of having to get your obsidian from these nether fortress, or these... I think they're called portal ruins or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Ruined portals... Instead, you can get your obsidian... You can get a water bucket. For it Only in PC, in villages, there are, like, fisher hut, fishing huts. In fishing huts, you can get... Um... You can get a bucket. It's rare, but you can get a bucket. And with a bucket, you could easily make another portal. So yeah, there's two ways to do it in um bet and PC, because of course ruined portals are also there, but in Bedrock, which is all I have, this is the only way we could do it. Hey turtles, I hate breeding turtles. I did I did a um when I I I had a world I talked about this where I couldn't find um Isa um. Not, um, nether wart. My nether fortress did not have nether wart in it. So, I, for a while, so I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll make a turtle of like a potion, not a potion of turtle master, but I'll make a, um, I'll use turtles, right? I'll use turtle shells, make a helmet, and maybe that'll allow me to breathe underwater to go fight the guardian. No, no, that didn't work. So, right, I, so when doing this challenge, I'm not using any external tools. Like, I know there is a way to take your world seed and look up, like, a map on how to um, do it. Yeah, we're, I'm not going to do that. Even though I am tempted to do that because that would make this... Because eventually, hopefully, we'll get everything, but it's just going to take a while. But, I, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to need to get more bows and arrows along the way because, because yeah, and part of the reason I took all this gold tool, these gold tools, like we're not going mining because again, we can't smelt because we can't open our inventory. But part of the reason I took all these gold tools was as weapons. So hopefully we'll be able to use them as weapons to stop whatever's in our way. I I think we're going to have to go out to sea. Because, yeah, we got to... I don't know how common these ruined portals are. And I think they can just spawn. In, I've seen them spawn in, like, the middle of the ocean before. Potatoes are not our best source of food, but hey, it's better than nothing. I mean, I guess we could also just kill random fish in the ocean. If we get a fishing rod, that would be nice. Oh, thank glob for dolphins. It doesn't look like there's anything on this island. Except for spooky noises. 
Yeah, let's keep going. Yep. Oh. Is that just weird terrain general? Is that a mesa? I think that's a mesa. And we do have a bed on... We were lucky to find a village early on, so we do have a bed. So we can at least just automatically sleep through the nights. I don't think... Because while well, mesas have increased gold... Yeah, we can't... Again, we can't mine... I do hope in one of these chests, it's it's bi it's basically inevitable that we'll find some gold armor. Because we are going to need it. It's cool to find a mesa. Admittedly, I do find mesas more than I do jungle biomes. I don't know why, but jungle biomes are so rare for me. Like I, and I've I haven't seen a jungle ruin in years. Like they just don't spawn. Okay, let's um Atlantis. Yeah, I love find it underwater ruin. We're not underwater. Um, I want that fishing rod. What is this? I'm breaking in luck of the sea. Oh, uh, we don't have any inventory space. See, this is the challenge. We're all right. We have our nine slots filled. And so this is going to be a fucking problem. And we can always die just to get, um, to reset our spots. Of course, what would be the easiest way to die is another question. We're totally gonna run out. We're gonna we're gonna be starving throughout a majority of this thing. We're just not gonna have food. I wish there was an easy way to like. I guess we could jump to our deaths. I guess we could, yeah. This is not gonna be a fun challenge, but hey, I'm gonna do it because you know what I can. Uh, there's no real way, ah, because we, I mean, I guess I could get rid of this fishing rod. Because oh, I'm like, I wonder if there's a way to get up this mesa. There might, there probably is. Sucks using uncooked potatoes. And honestly, the Mesa biome is probably not the best place to be either.
Yeah, honestly, may, may, I, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure ruined portals can spawn basically anywhere. But yeah, I'd rather not be in Mesa. I'd rather find a new, uh, different biome. I'd also want to find more um, villages. I'm probably going to drop one in. Probably the Silk Touch Gold pick, if need be. I don't expect us to get that much use out of it. Wanted to use the silk, ah, whatever. So we now have cobble. So we now have cobble in our inventory. So unless we want to get more cobble, we're kind of screwed. Because we have to get a bunch more. Oh, there's another village. Okay, good. I'll take any armor, weapons, or food I can get from villages. And there is one other useful thing we can get from villages. But that won't come into play for a while. That's a very l I was like, that looks very low. It's because there's this giant chasm here. Um... Okay, I am... I'll take some leather armor. Nope. A smoker? Uh, more potatoes. Got us a little bit. Oh, and there's a ruined portal out there. Good. Those are carrots and beetroots, of which, yeah. Oh, God, my hand is asleep. I don't know why it keeps falling asleep. Um, I think that's every house down here. Did we go into this? Yeah, probably did. Yeah, I think that guy stole some of our potatoes. Yeah, look at that. 
that does good damage. Okay. I didn't want to pick up any of that. So we got gold pants, but they're no longer accessible to us. And there was no obsidian in that chest. Shit. I mean, again, we can always just die and get some of this stuff back. Like, we can change around the armor. I guess we should write down village, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that villager stole my potatoes. Village 2 is at 1,003, 64, 1450. Okay. Um... I don't remember which way we came in. Huh. I see the Enderman. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, no, we're just not going to deal with that. I think we came in from the other side. And you know, the worst part is if we were to find a campfire to, like, cook meats, we couldn't even break it. Because if you break a campfire, you just get cold. And, like, there is nothing to be gained in coal. Um... I think we were actually... We were going this way, and were we going, wait, we were going, I think we were going this way, because we're going up in both um, X and Y, or X and Z. Even though at some point I do probably want to... Because I'd like to keep close to spawn. Because the, the portal's going to be within just like a few thousand to spawn. It's not going to be that far. Are we, yeah, probably even... Like, I would not be surprised if the portal was under the village. We were just... Because in my recent experience, I feel like my port, uh, nether ender portals are usually right next to a village. Like, that seems to be how I've seen things recently. McDonald's at 3 a.m. And we figured out that you can go to McDonald's at 3 a.m. Oh, my God. Did you see they are actually selling on uh, uh, limited run games is selling an official Among Us plush? It, it doesn't look half bad, honestly. God, we're already out of food. Ah, uh, this is... This is bad. This is so bad.
I really should just stop running everywhere. Do you get a salmonella for eating raw chicken in this game? Oh, wait, that's just a baby pig. I don't mean to kill you. I don't remember. I know you can get um, poison from eating a spider eye. Oh, where the heck? It's down here, isn't it? There we go. Yep, bake them potatoes. We can't! We can't bake potatoes! God, th this axe does some good damage. But it's already a quarter of the way broken, so that's gonna be a problem. Nope. We can't access our inventory. And to bake the potatoes would be to access our inventory. So that's out of the question. If we can get... It gives you poisoning and hunger. God. So that's gonna be a problem. So I guess we're stuck eating other foods other than, um... So chicken's off the menu, but pig, cow, and anything else are good. Also, dying... Dying is a good alternative to just being hungry. So I guess I'm going to start collecting steak. Even though there's not much we can do with it. I didn't read the description. Yeah. Yep. Oh shit, trident guy. Yep, nope, it's a sim it's a si it's a simple challenge on paper. But the actual execution of this thing is going to be a nightmare. We can't make a boat, which sucks. Cuz god, I would love a boat for crossing all these big oceans and everything. And there goes our axe. God, it was such a good axe as well. Like, the damage that thing did. Is that... Ah, it's just mountains. We also have a golden apple tucked away in our inventory, but of course, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. Okay, beat Breath of the Wild without touching grass. Yeah. I also know we have the fishing rod, so that's also the, a theoretical source of food. Yeah. I mean, someone beat Breath of the Wild without climbing, which was... I think that was Game Champ 3000. At least he was the first person I saw to do it. You could die and pick up the golden. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, that's t and I'm totally gonna eventually resort to that option. I just won't, don't want to do it yet. Oh, cause look, there's another village. Ah, raw mutton heals more than a baked potato. People have done some insane challenges in games. But as far as I know, nobody has done this. I don't know. I could I could be 1,000% wrong, but I did some curse, cursory searches, and I found nothing. I found someone who claimed they were doing it and then just 
didn't. Point crew is the guy who beat it without touching grass. God, that's crazy. Oh, hey, look, it's a blacksmith. Um, a glider. Okay, um, we have more potatoes here, probably. Uh, potatoes are probably going to be our most reliable source of food. Even though I will take whatever pig I can get. And without using the Sheikah Slate. I don't know, the, the crazy one was, um... The, can you beat Pokemon without taking damage? Like, that's the one that's like, what... I don't know. I I know I, I, I could never even get close. Cause I, I mean I can't even do a Nuzlocke. I've I've considered it and I'm like, nope, I would fail that instantly. We were we were gonna do a Nuzlocke later this year. Or, or earlier. I wanted to do a Nuzlocke, or at least I was considering it. And then uh the switch broke and it kinda again ruined everything. <laughs> Okay, so I saw the blacksmith when we entered. So that'll hopefully have something good in it. I want to at least save one of the pickaxes. Just in case we need it for anything. Because, I mean, eventually we are going to dig down, even, even though I'm sure we will we'll get more pickaxes. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, pig. I'll take your beef. God, I wish one of these... I, I know campfires do spawn in, um... What's it called? Um... Taiga villages? The, the one in the forest. The, oh, you know, we could be, we have like four flint and steels in our inventory. We could be using flint and steels to cook the meat. I'm a fucking moron. Um, I see a chest plate and a hat. Just let's get the bread first. And let's just snatch up everything else. I meant update, not very. I mean, ver okay, um, this is uh, bedrock. This is Bedrock. I'm playing on an Xbox One. And this is whatever the most recent version is. I think 1.16, the Nether update. God damn it. I can't believe I hadn't realized that I could just use the flint and steel to cook the meat. I'm a moron. I know I only have... I think I have more than one flint and steel on me, though. Do I want to cook the meat, though? Or do I want to... Oh, yeah, we can't because of rain. Um, but yeah, this is the... This, I'm not using the new snapshot, even though the, the, that looks fun enough. Yeah, nah. I, I'm so... But I thought they removed blacksmiths. No, they did not. They changed how blacksmiths worked, but no, they did not remove blacksmiths. They're just rarer now, and their loot tables are a little different. But yeah, no, they, they were never actually removed from the game. Because, yeah, they're rarer, they're... And they're not... Yeah, they're not as good as they used to be. Because, like, I think you used to be able to, like, find diamonds in them. Yeah, that doesn't work anymore. Um, I want to go...
Was that a, I think, did I see a spider or was that just... I did. Yeah, and the blacksmith change happened a while ago. Like, that was, like, the one point... Oh, God, that was, that was like, three or four updates ago now, when they changed them. We could... Th I mean, we have a fishing rod. We could theoretically get a cat as a pet. That might be nice. We're just gonna... See, the problem is now that we only... Because we only have so many inventory slots. I know I could just start cooking this meat whenever I want. But at the same time, like... There's only so much meat. We have a theoretical infinite source of meat. And again, I'm pretty sure I picked up, like, three flint and steels. Honestly, I'll be more concerned when my inventory is full. The world record for diamonds is 12 seconds because the seed walrus sits you right next to a blacksmith with diamonds. Yeah. Bunch of villager zombies. Just looking for portal ruins, though. That's... Ah, oh, God. You know, and it's... I don't think it's that... To get obsidian from the portal ruins, it's not that rare. But I guess it's still rare enough that we can't do anything with it. There we go. We can get cooked pork. I want to run through my normal pork, pork reserves first. Um. And yeah, and I don't, while I do think this would be easier on PC, I don't think it's going to be that much, because finding a bucket, because while portal ruins aren't like that rare, and getting the actual stuff you need from the portal ruins isn't that bad, the bucket is, getting the bucket is just as bad. I'll take some cooked steak. I'll take some cooked chicken. Yeah. God. I can't believe... It. One of the first things we got were like four foot and steels. Oh. Trident. I guess we pick up leather. Australia is so hot that you can set raw chicken outside. And by the next day, it will be safe to eat. The heat in Australia kills the bacteria. Yeah. <coughs> there are there are a few places in America like that as well. 
Um, I've done uh, cookies on the sidewalk before. Well, especially in, in uh, Vegas. You can, um... Oh, come on. You can pretty easily cook um, cookies on the sidewalk. Like, you just lay out a pan, spray the thing down, and put your cookie dough on it, and it'll cook. Did you, did you see the video of the guy who cooked um, chicken just by slapping it? That was... That, it was entertaining enough. Yeah, I think I think our food problems now that I've realized you can do this, I think our food problems are over. Of course we are gonna have to die to get access to some of this. But it has a small price to pay. You know the one thing I do not like about modern mine uh, modern Minecraft, especially or at least in the bedrock, is how fast fire spreads. Like it used to be fun to just like slowly watch fire spread as you like light the mega tower on fire. Yeah, nowadays it doesn't work like that. You never make statue. Well, yeah, I've I've seen those. I mean, I remember was it? I think it was early last year. When um, there was a point where uh, Wisconsin was colder than Antarctica, and like you could just go out and I know when it gets cold enough, you can just go outside and throw a bucket of water, and it'll like freeze midair. No. You know, another problem I have with modern Minecraft, the Wither. They root the Wither was such a cool fight. It was hard as hell. And then they decided it wasn't hard enough, so they made it harder. And then they decided it wasn't hard enough, so they made it harder. And it's just it's gotten to the point where it's just no longer fun to fight. At least that's my opinion on things. I, I don't know I don't know anybody who fights the Wither anymore. Everyone goes to the Ender Dragon. Nobody fights the Wither, and I don't blame them. Because the Wither kind of sucks. I didn't even write down the coordinates to uh, Village 3. I completely forgot. I'm so... I'm now, I've now got a goal to cook all this chicken. Um, am I back? For a second there, I thought my internet went down. And I'm still having, on my end, I'm getting like kilobytes per second. I don't think my internet's down, but it's, it's fucking suffering right now. Okay, it looks a little better right there. Oh god, I dropped like so many frames in just quick succession right there. Oh shit. What the fuck was that? Ah, it's a Minecraft noise. It means whatever the fuck it wants to mean. Also, you know what? You know what? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got another gripe with Minecraft while I'm thinking about it. 
I fucking hate Bedrock Edition because it added microtransactions to Minecraft. It was, When Microsoft bought Minecraft, it was kind of inevitable they were going to try to ruin it. And while, yes, it is good, they let Mojang do what they want. And, right, like, what we're seeing with the Caves and Cliffs update, where they were like, yeah, no, we're going to delay the update so that way we can make it better. That's good. What I fucking hate... Oh, boom, here we go. Here's a third one. Is Microsoft's approach to, right, adding in microtransactions. It's only for, like, skins and, like, weird mod packs and whatnot. But it still fucking sucks. Um... That, God damn it. And there is no way to get this up. We can get this gold, but it's of no use to us. There's no way to get this obsidian with these pickaxes. We need a diamond. Ah, oh, God, this sucks. And I'm not, and I'm refusing to use a, a, a biome tracker. At least not this stream. Maybe next time. Because it would make it would make my life so much easier. But no, we're just going to adventure on our own for now. Because again, I know this is theoretically possible. But the problem is just finding all the obsidian we need. God, look at that. One thing lit up three pieces of grass. But yeah, I hate all the microtransactions in modern Minecraft. It's, it's fucking terrible. And, like, the whole skin thing on Bedrock Edition, where you have to, like, where you can either use from their, like, five skins they give you, or you can, um, pay your microtransactions to get actual skins. Ugh. Fucking, I, oh my god. And, because I know people say, well, oh, at least it's just cosmetic, even though there are some gameplay things that are locked behind microtransactions. Not in the default game, but, like, there's all these, like, weird packs and whatnot. But, no, it's just cosmetic is a bullshit argument that has been dismantled hundreds of times. And yet people will just keep saying it, even though, because, you know, um, science is dead. And, uh, we, I've bitched about COVID enough. Um, one time I got an entire month of February off because the warmest it got in February that month was negative 29 Celsius. The coldest it got was negative 43. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, it, when, when it gets, like, here, when it gets cold, it never gets that cold. Like, I, I've definitely... Like, we've definitely gone into the negative before, but no, it's never that cold. But however, oh, hey, look, it's a fucking water temple. Oh, woo, that's super useful. Here, however, it gets really hot. It gets well over 100 degrees. Definitely not the hottest in the world. But it gets hot here. Which doesn't really matter, except for that one time I was living in a place that didn't have air conditioning. And Okay, so this just doesn't want to work for me. For some reason, oh look, two um underwater things, those sunken ships. Yeah, no, it does not. Okay, click. We've only been going an hour. So yeah, but this just doesn't want to work for me, and I don't know why. Fuck. If it crashes one more time, I'm going to call it. Hopefully, it, I just jinxed myself, but it's if it crashes one more time, we're going to call it. And I'll be back on, like, Wednesday to try it again. Might continue from the same world, might start a new world, I don't know. 
I've, I've totally opened to just starting a new world. But we do have a lot of food, and I'd hate to lose some of this food now that we have it. Same year in Canada, we had negative 40 Celsius to 35 Celsius extreme weather diversion. I mean, admittedly, I have seen it go from 0 to 90. Like, I've, I've walked outside to see hail and then come back in and then, like, check, like, an hour later and it's, like, 90 degrees out. So, like, it's... That's, that's weather here. Uh, weather in Texas... Is forking crazy. Because like one minute right it's snow. Next minute it's hot as hell. And that and that's in like June. Like I'm going to. It's probably going to get hail here. Within the next month. Or we're probably going to have some hail. Because we usually get some around June. Just because. Yeah fuck it. You know. Right now, we're just clearly... <sighs> right now, we're stuck in Endless Ocean. Uh, I guess we should eat some potatoes. This honestly isn't like a terrible seed or anything. This is this is a pretty decent seed. It's just we're not finding shit. The Rocky Mountains create great shifts in weather. That is true, yeah. Oh, what was that sound? Oh, and hey, look, uh, mining fatigue is finally wearing off. Um, I was hoping for a second that those rocks off in the distance were ice. And you know, it's funny, because the hardest part of the challenge is finding all the obsidian we need for another portal. Even, I, you know what, and we might even be able to cheat it. If we can get, like, five pieces, we can just go to a ruined portal and use the ruined portal as, like, a way, as just, like, a quick, we can use the obsidian already in the ruined portal. But we need to get, like, five pieces first. I honestly, I should have. I know I've been keeping track of the um, villages. I probably also should have been kept keeping track of the ruined portals just to see where they are. Yeah. I don't know. We found three so far, and we found three villages. One pillager out. God, get up, get up there. One pillager outpost and one ocean monument. I can tell you what we're not going to find. A jungle, 
a woodland mansion. God, I remember one, one of the first worlds when I bought Minecraft on Switch. My woodland mansion was, I want to say it was, um, oh God, was it 25,000 away? I think it was 25,000, but it might have been more. And I flew there using an, it was raining, and I flew to the woodland mansion using a uh, trident with a riptide and um, elytra. And then at some point the game just froze because I was going so fast. And when the game unfroze, I was just dead. And I was dead like tw 20,000 blocks away from my base. So I had to... Oh, God, it was a nightmare. But then, you know, you get back, you sync up the nether... You get, you get to the Woodland Mansion, you sync up the nether portals, and it's all smooth sailing from there. I, sh I showed off that world in a video before. With, um... Because I created a giant uh, railway system underneath it. Yeah, that that was... God, that was probably 2019. That was probably my E3 video. That was probably my either my normal E3 or my E3 predictions video for 2019. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I was going to show off my PS4 worlds, but... Eh. I mean, we probably will at some point. My biodome. Okay, we're back in forest. I think forest so far is our best place to look for these structures. Air, uh, plains is the best, but forest is probably second best. And I'm probably going to miss one somewhere along the way. Like, we'll walk past it and I just won't even notice. And that's going to be annoying, but it, it is inevitable. Bibliocleptomania? What? Was that a person who just steals the Bible? It's a mental disorder that causes one's need to steal books. So I was close. Yeah, no. No, that's not... Nah. No, I, I steal stupid things. Like rocks. Because, you know, I know, I know some good shit about geology... And every once in a while, you'll be walking, and you'll be walking past someone's yard, and you'll see a neat rock, and it'll be like, Oh, hey, look, this is some nice. Oh, look at the grain pattern on this. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, hey, look, this is a metamorphic, um, whatever. Hey, look, it's a piece of obsidian. Oh, I didn't expect to find this here. That's cool. Because, of course, when it comes to science, I don't know shit about shit. Except for when it comes to geology and astronomy. And I'm not talking, like, high level, like astrophysics. I'm talking just basic astronomy, like, looking at stars, using, um... Sextons and octons. And basic geo geology, like, knowing a rock is a rock. Pig, I'm going to kill your mother. And I guess you as well.
Um, a, mon a man in 1820, a man stole 600 rare books from 200 lib different libraries. The estimated worth of the, what they stole got caught at 5 million. God. If there are potatoes here, we're not going to grab them. I'm, I don't need potatoes anymore. I do, however, need more pork. I can't believe I didn't think of the flint and steel thing sooner. Admittedly, it'd be a lot bigger of a problem if we had... But luckily, flint and steel is, like, super common in these chests. So it's not that big of an issue. Because we have a shitload in our inventory. We have at least four flint and steels. Fuck! No! No! Uh, F. F. God damn it. We only had one so far. And now we're back down to zero. We're starting... It's basically like we're starting over again. I, kn I knew we were going to screw up along the way, but... Ah, God. Did that pig run into water? Or did it? Ah. Uh. You know, I, I, I realized it later that I could have just put the obsidian somewhere, especially because we got a bed so early on. I can just easily die and respawn wherever I want. But, God, we need to find more of these things. Hey, it's it's a fisherman's hut. And, yeah, this is where you... And, the, theoretically, you could find a uh, bucket in here. But, of course, we're not going to have that, said Luck. Pseudo, pseudo... Hypoporetics... Nope. No, no. It's a per no. Oh, it's a no. person who... So what, it's like a phobia phobia? It's a fear of having a fear? No, no. There's our cow. So there's a flint and steel broke. But I know we have shit loads of stuff in our inventory that we could use. We just, again, can't see it. We got 26 pork, which is good. a person whose body can't you carefully oh hey it's a brown sheep not as rare as a pink sheep but yeah brown sheep's huh I, there's one world where I did I could not find a jungle biome, and so to get brown wool, I just had to use a brown sheep. That was like the only option I had. It sucked. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, another village. I was, is that is that something over there? I think that's something over there. I was like, there's no way in this giant empty field there's not one. Okay. 
Like, see, this would be a bad portal, because this is just, what, three pieces of crying up, four pieces of crying obsidian? It's enough crying obsidian to make a, um, a thingy. Oh, this has some obsidian in it. God, we'd be up to three if I hadn't screwed it up. We would be up to three. I would love to get this out of my... I'd love to get this out of my hot bar. But that's not an option at this moment. Because uh, again, I don't think we need that many to get to the nether. As a person who has the symptoms of not getting paranoid home runs, it actually does... Um, I don't even think there's anything that these villages can offer. Honestly, the one thing that I would be, that's nice about villages that could be helpful in the future is their beds. Like, that's the one thing that would be super convenient to have. Oh, and we just ruined the challenge because I accidentally clicked on the chest. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck me. That's it. I open the chest and that's it. We failed. Fuck. Ah, god damn it. Okay, there's attempt there's attempt 1. I I knew we were going to screw it up eventually. Ah, that stupid villager screwed me up. So this is everything we had. I didn't even know we had a shovel. There's the golden apple. We had a good chunk of steak. But yeah, we needed more obsidian, I guess. Like, that's... That was our problem, is that we needed more obsidian. I I don't even know how to pronounce that. Hippopotamonta... Monstro... Cichidilophobia... If it's a fear of hippopotamuses, then I'll just say hippopotamuses should be feared. They're tanks with legs, and they're fucking horrifying. It's like being afraid of sharks. It's just common sense. So yeah, that's this world fucking ruined. It's a fear of long words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we failed. Um, I am very tempted to call it there. Because we failed our first attempt. We'll be back on probably Wednesday with attempt number two. Hopefully it'll go better. I, th I think I'm going to call it there. I knew we were going to screw up eventually. But I never said this was going to be easy. I never said this was going to be easy. But hey, that's part of the fun of the challenge, isn't it? But yeah, I'm so fucking annoyed. I can't... Right here should be my chicken man skin. And it just won't load. My chicken... That should be my chicken man skin, but it won't load. And if I go into edit characters... For some reason, these are the only skins that appear. My chicken man skin isn't here. And I'm assuming it's somewhere in like this bullshit... But I don't know where, and of course, all of these, all this shit costs money. So, like, fuck that. There's an Enderman with a suit. Yeah. Oh God, I was so surprised to see these pizzas. Fashion pigs. Mobs wearing suits. See, this one doesn't even have the chicken man in it. Ugh. Is that... There's really an Among Us thing? Fucking really? 
I mean, I know it's unofficial, but like, fucking really? God, Minecraft skins are fucking stupid. And of course, there's Fortnite emotes because you know, why the fuck not? Yeah, uh, that's where we're gonna end off for today. Uh, next next time, we'll start a new world. We'll, we're trying again from fresh. I've learned some things, specifically how to deal with food, which is, oh, thank goodness. But yeah, it'll, hopefully it'll go better next time. I might also use a seed tra tracker next time. So that way we, we can just go exactly where we need to go. Because again, I know, I know we're making the challenge easier on ourselves, but it's not like we're trying to fucking speed run this bullshit. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm definitely considering it. But this was attempt number one. Attempt number two will be next time. I have to go write some emails now because, yay! Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably be back Wednesday if I had to guess. But with that, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Till next time, peace.